good eats. And my friends, is what we call dinner. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode here on the PC Fun YouTube channel. We've got a whole bunch of people in the boat today. Got Cody over here. We got Traverina over here. That's your new name, by the way. Trevor, it's, it's no longer Old Redbeard, it's Traverina. Perfect. No. <laughs> and then we've also got Casey right over here. Casey's the first mate. And then the captain right back here, Carlos. So we are out here with Fish Milwaukee LLC, guys, and we're doing something a little bit different. We're not chasing walleyes or trout or bass, but we're out chasing salmon right now. So I'll actually be honest with you. We put a couple in the box already, so I I'm doing a little, little post intro right here. Um, but honestly, it was a little bit too dark to get it before, and we figured the intro quality would be a little better doing it this way. So uh, basically, we're chasing kings, we're chasing coves. We got a bunch of rods out here, uh, and the fishing's been pretty good. So hopefully, we'll get on them. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one. Traverine, I mean old Redbeard. Are you? <laughs> this is your first time on a charter, right? Yep. First time on a charter. And yes, you got the first fish this morning. Yes, I did. You did get the first fish. Beautiful this eater. Yes. It's gonna taste good. Yep. That's the awesome thing about fishing out here, guys. Is like bass fishing, super fun. Obviously, it's what I do. But when you're out here doing this, you get some really awesome table fare. And we're catching cohos, and you'll see them in the video, and you'll be like, "Oh, that's a small fish." But I'm telling you, the way they taste makes up for the lack in size tenfold. Um, so the beautiful thing is you're not only catching fish, it's not only fun, but you're also getting awesome table fare for you and your family. Hey guys, we're hooked up again. This is the third fish in like, I don't know, less than 10 minutes. Oh, oh another coho. Another coho. Yeah. You're gonna have to back up and yep. I'll hand line it there. On the dipsy. On the dipsy. You ready, Chase? Yep. Ready when you are. Cast iron friend there. <laughs> yeah. Better coho. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah? Oh, good, guys. Just we are. He just put that rod down, guys, and got smacked right away on the dipsy. Like I said, three fish in less than 10 minutes. So we are putting a lot of food on the table right now. I'm looking forward to it. Time for me was this spring. First time ever. <laughs> I did my first time this freaking spring what? too. Put a freaking barb. Put a, put a oh. hook through my hand, past the barb. I had two of them past the barb this last time. I've done that plenty of times. It was, it was not fun. Little hammer handle pike on a jerk bait. Yeah, it was mine. <laughs> yeah, it was it was his <laughs> pike. It wasn't even mine. Oh yeah. Good start here this morning, guys. Fish are biting out here with Fish MKE. Looking forward to a good day on the water. Okay. Get that back down. I want to hit a mark on It's like Florida all over again. Right. <laughs> so Jason, what happened? Well, we had a bite. It was a king. And the fish shot at the boat so fast that I thought it popped. We actually all thought it popped yeah. off. And then all of a sudden you could see the, the dodger just flying across the water. And then Carl was like, no, he's there, he's there. So I tried to burn and catch up, caught up. There's a good chance that when I did slack line it like that, the hook probably worked itself a little loose. And uh, when it started to run again, she was gone. So, well, luckily we got all day. Good thing is it's early and we got <laughs> plenty of time to catch some more oh, fish. Yeah. So, but I'm, I'm still not any more happy about losing a fish. I feel I'm really kicking ass, but I'm doing this thing. We don't want to be cold. Yeah, Travis, don't mess it up. No, <laughs> Cody's over here enjoying a sandwich and watch the rod go. Yep. Travis, it's all on you. The weight of the world is on your shoulders. I even lapped finally on that spoon, too. Are we Oh, yeah. Go curse again good job <laughs> luckily he was not getting away this time
Well guys, little, uh, little, well it's not really mid-morning, still early morning. It's around 7.15, 7.30, uh, just a little update. We've, uh, we've missed a few fish, just fish that have either been like, you know, drive-bys or maybe the hooks have pulled or maybe they didn't get the hook perfectly. Um, but we do have a bunch of cohos stacked up in the cooler already and the bite's been pretty steady, pretty consistent. Um, we've had some pretty cool stuff. Carlos is kind of playing with the throttle a little bit and speeding up, slowing down and it's seeming to trigger some fish, which has been pretty cool. Earlier, we had a situation where it got pretty foggy. We almost almost ran into a boat. If they would have had boards out next to us, we probably would have had a little entanglement. So uh, thankfully, it didn't happen, but it did help us learn that that little speed up slowdown is triggering some bites. So Carlos has been doing that, and we've been getting some fish. So we're going to keep at it. Hopefully, we'll put a big king in the boat. Uh, but if not, we'll have a bunch of cohos uh, to be able to cook in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for the rest of the action. Still there? Yep. I'm just not putting a whole lot of pressure on it. We've been popping some fish, so I'm trying to take it a little easier on this one. Yep, there it is, right on top. Yep. Oh, it's out. Jason didn't miss this one. Yeah, we've had a couple of fish pop, so I'm trying to be a little bit more delicate with this one. That was a couple of quick bites in a hurry. Nice. There we go. Another nice co over the box and the hook just popped out. Got a little flurry going. Oh, it felt good to break the curse of losing so many fish. Finally broke the curse. Rigger, oh, rigger, rigger, rigger. Yep. That could be that bigger fish we just saw. Easy on him. That could be that big fish we just saw. Big head shakes. Big head shakes. Ooh, that wing is chilly. <laughs> I love how you guys are. Man. I love how you guys are twinsies. Man. Guys, check out these twinsy shirts right here. You guys look so adorable. <laughs> Cody doesn't even have anything to say. <laughs> How's those biceps feeling, Trav? I laugh. I'll be fine. <laughs> Almost now. So I'm at 31, 31 and a quarter inch uh, Laker, that's what I meant. That is a big freaking Laker. I have to say, Trav, those curly red beard hairs look pretty good on camera. Does it? <laughs> Hang on, let me pick some for you. Big sweep, walk back. One more. Shake on nuts, big head shakes. Oh, he's upset. <laughs> nah, he done made him angry, Trav. All right. Heck of a yes. net heck of a net job by Casey. Nice job, Casey. <laughs> That's a chunk That's a chunky one. Laker. Yep. Yeah, I get some good oh that one is That's the biggest Laker I've ever seen. Good job, buddy. That's yeah. the biggest Laker I've ever seen in my life. That's awesome. Nice yeah, that's hey, a nice grease. Yeah, there. there you go. Check out that beautiful Laker Travis just caught. Awesome colors. A smoker right there. Yep. You smoke that one. Yeah. Had a boy, Travis. Nice job. How the, nice how the job. biceps feeling? Yeah. Little, little sore? A little sore. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> all right. that all day. Let's see if we can get some more. All right. Got all right, guys. We have reached the end of our day, or the end of our fishing day, I should say. So you can see these guys are pulling the lines in here, the last couple that we had out. So now we're gonna head into the docks, we're gonna clean these fish up, and we will show you exactly why we were so excited to get some table fare, so stay tuned. All right guys, just got back to the dock. Now we're gonna grab the fish out of the cooler, and then we're gonna take a little short drive over to the cleaning station, over, kinda over that way. And yeah, Cody's got it. Air traffic controller right there. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna show you guys how to clean some fish. Oh, no. oh, do that again, Cody. Show me that dance again. No. Oh, come on. Do it for the people. All right, let's go clean some fish. Good be open. Some of that delicious goodness. Oh my God, he's a karate kid. Look at him. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna put them over there for the fillet knife. And we're gonna have some delicious 
red meat oh, fillets. Ah, oh, they already smell good. The Carlos has the Bubba Blade ready to rock. That's right. A couple of them. Let's, let's show these folks how you clean up some salmon. Well, you never know what kind of riffraff you're going to run into when you come down to Milwaukee. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is Eric Hadia, the infamous. He was out jigging today. We were out trolling. You don't have to just troll. Believe it or not, you can catch them really good. Last three times I've been out, limits jigging all three times. That's incredible. Like I was telling these guys, 99.9% .9 everyone trolls, which is fine, it's fun. I like to troll too, but once you start jigging them, it's uh, pretty hard to beat that. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty awesome. You know, it's hard to, hard to go back. I mean, so. There's not much that beats the thump. <laughs> All right, Carlos, let's let's walk them through how we're gonna clean this salmon over here. We're just running along the backbone here, and then uh, flip the fillet and take the rib bones out. Oh, that is just beautiful fillet. Gorgeous meat. Look at that, nice and thin. That's what you want it to look like, guys. There it is. There's just one line of pin bones left in there. There you go. And you can smoke that. You can. You said you like using a cast iron. You can bake it. You can do a lot of different things. Absolutely. Well, guys, that is a wrap for today's video. Had a super fun time out here with Fish MKE LLC. We're out filming with Carlos, Casey. And we were also with Cody and Travis. Caught a bunch of fish today, had a great time. As you saw, we did lose that big king that we hooked, but that's all right. We got a lot of great fish for the table. As you saw, kind of showed you how they clean them up and you get some tremendous meat off these fish. So if you guys want to, I highly suggest coming down here and fishing with Carlos at Fish MKE LLC. He's gonna put you on some fish. You'll be able to take some fish home and eat them. Definitely a great guy to contact for a trip. And I know for sure that I will be back out this summer, if not once, twice, maybe three times. So thank you guys for watching the video. Go down below, drop me a comment, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.